Phelps is the man. Phelps is the epitome of 40s. Our duty is to lead. Except he should be talking like this, as we've already gone over. Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, but wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Oh, boy's got rhymes. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bum. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before. He jumped parole. Yeah, put the siren on and scoop him away. I'll Foolish. head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers, stop! I ran track in high school. Boy, I'm right on your tail. It's over for you. Oh, he's trucking Bowers, out of nowhere. Hold it right there! Stop now or I will shoot. Stop. I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, Dunn! Watch your fire! You don't want to do this, Wendell. Classic Vince Dunn. Can't hit the net. Haha. Right <laughs> St. Louis Blues legend. Anyone? No. Give it up, Wendell! It's over for you, Wendell. I'm gonna not let you Stay kick me in the, the face because I know you want to. Me. Don't kick me in the face. Look, you bastard! Yeah, that's what I thought, dude. Guy's playing that counter, counter defense. No way I'm going back inside. That's what he said, maybe. I've done my time. It's over, Bowers. You assholes already screwed me once. Oh, look at that. Excellent. Give it up, Bowers! There's nowhere left to go! It's over for you, Bowers. Where are you? Oh, shit. My hat, dude. You knocked off my hat. Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. I'm actually triggered. Yeet. Bang. Oh, look at him go. How you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in 10 years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? I said I ran track in high school. That shit's fucking hilarious. Well, I sure did there. Whatever your name is, I don't remember. You look a little like Kelso. Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Hey, Jello Tree, the legend. Six. Thanks for the follow, Kowalski, bud. Six. Oh, you can't Hudson, even see the thing. Five. One second. Kelso, me. 2. Leadership. Okay, alert Donahoe, box is in the wrong eight. spot. Franklin, 7. Merrill, 6. Kowalski, 6. Weiss, 5. Hudson, Let's run this five. again. Maybe Kelso, you'll be able to see it. One. Candidate Kelso. There you go. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office now. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. Dang, we were right nearby. Where's the dude who just shot him? LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? Dude, this happened We've 10 seconds the ago. And the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Dude looks like Alan from Two and a Half Men. Oh, he's dead. Uh oh, where's Jake? Okay, <laughs> Was it Charlie? Along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses Seventh Street. Okay. Alan Harper. That was last name. We'll get a perimeter going and move the so crowd long. on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. 
I'll be with you in a moment. It was Charlie strung out on coke. Broad daylight. A crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Ah, uh, yes. His face. That's a human being. Okay, nothing there. Okay, that's a hand. Still warm. Hmm. He must have died recently. Yeah, man, didn't you hear the, the, the shots? Hmm. Still warm. Pets his mouth. Hmm. <laughs> Sticks two fingers in. Hmm. Still warm. Hmm. Bank of Arcadia. See Galetta. Pearl earrings. Bought at retail price. Paying only a few dollars at a time. He's got a payment plan, See a Galetta. layaway ticket. Layaway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Six fingers in his mouth again. Hmm. Still warm. Let's talk to Alan Harper. Well, sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. Okay, that didn't. You want to take a much. look around? I probably would have went in there anyway. The witness can wait, Cole. We've got the perimeter. No, I always wonder, do you want to interview people first or look for clues? Let's, yeah, we got some, all right, got some all right. evidence yes, to discover here. Shell casings. These look like 32s. Shell casings. Still warm. Who throws out a gun? I mean, I guess you don't want to get caught with it, so it makes sense. I've never killed anyone. FN Browning. Serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. Well, let's not go there yet. Let's talk to the lady inside. Speak to the witness before homicide arrives. Yeah, that's so. what I was doing. If you think she's lying, don't be afraid to get forced. Oh dear. Verbally, of course. And don't accuse her of anything without proof. Lawyers love that shit. And if you're sure she's straight up, try the general approach. See what you can coax out of her. Sure thing. Hello, lady. Uh, can I can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis. Galleta. Get it on the record. I've never killed anyone. The FBI are gonna show up in my place because I winked four times. Okay, yeah. Can I can I just ask her about it? Oh uh, yes, a woman. Do you think Still you can tell me warm. exactly what happened, Miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, this is the tutorial one, so it's automatically telling me what to do. This was when they started incorporating yeah, facial features into games. And like, look how sketchy it is. You can't make eye contact at all. One thing that, that bothers me a lot, so I'm gonna, just gonna move my camera over here. Basically right above where my camera is right now, this used to say truth and doubt. And that's where you got that, the LA Noir me, where it was like doubt and Cole Phelps' face was like, you know when he makes that face? If you were to Google LA Noir doubt, oh, there, there we go. If you were to Google LA Noir doubt, you would, you'd see the meme if you haven't seen it. Um, but we're gonna accuse her. Because it told us to for this one. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? 
the layaway voucher. Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings. Well. Oh, jeez. You could lose that looks her bad freedom, you. you little fool. If you don't <laughs> you stop little obstructing fool. a murder investigation. You fool. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Jeez. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. It probably was very painful. Dude got shot in the back. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Checks out. Wait. She was bad cop. I guess she is a little shifty right now. I wonder what... My instinct would not be to act as a bad cop here, so maybe this game's gonna... Maybe I'm, maybe I'm not the detective I thought I was, and this is when I'd take off my hat if I was wearing one. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang. And then another, and then three very quickly close together. Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. I mean, we also saw brave. all the casings on the ground. We already knew there were five. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Gage. Does that mean I can still collect my, my... Lady, you gotta stop talking. Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Here's the thing, if we're on our beat, if we're on our beat and we hear bang, 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 or however many shots there were, there were five, we learned. And we're like just around this corner. Wouldn't, and we didn't see homeboy shoot him and then run we in our direction. Couldn't we just look down the street, like look that way that that camera was just showing and see the dude running away? You want to talk about a guy who ran That's track in high school? From here. Edgar Cowley. I'm thinking. Tate, maintain the perimeter. Okay, so let's let's investigate how how far this jewelry store really is, because this guy probably could have just sprinted back. <laughs> we show up to the jewelry store and he's like, "Hey, hey, officers!" <laughs> See, look, it's behind us. So you're telling me this is the dude? This is the road this dude ran, because we came from the other way. So this dude, let's not run over this guy. This dude sprinted around this corner. This is a long drive. I don't know if this checks out. I, mean, I guess he could have jogged, but like I've, we were only interviewing her and investigating that spot. I know that it might like fast forward the time in a game or some shit. Okay, please leave. Please move. Thank you. I just, I really want this guy to be all sweaty when I walk in. It'd be so funny. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? There he is. Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Are you Edgar, uh, the cardio no, king, uh, Kalu? Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Parkour. Son of a 
Preemptive parkour. Go, Cole, go. Yeah, you already know how to run. You don't gotta tell me. I've chased many a body in my days. Kalu, get back here! I don't want to shoot him. She wants a five One second. I'm gonna wait until we have a good straightaway here with no nothing intercepting, and then I'm gonna do the old point at the back. It's over for you, Kalu. Stop, or I will shoot. I, actually, I already shot. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. <laughs> I'm good at this whole crime thing, Phelps. <laughs> that smile. The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never saw. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. Is that this case? We don't talk about this case? may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who knocked down Malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. Yes, sir. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? Oh, my God. This guy is very, You're like, asking me to, to conduct poetic. the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've Live assembled for me, no. Thank yourself you for the a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal. Like these, this isn't an accent, right? This is just, like, old-timey talking. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. It's the fault. We just good. punch people till they confess. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young wow. Phelps. This dude is so metaphorical. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Okay, let's review our evidence first. Let's see what we got here. There was a shooting? The voucher, the handgun. I guess we could have checked to see if it was his gun, but we'll probably be fine. Possible religious motive. Okay. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Yeah, I don't really plan on using intuition that much. It had nothing to do with me. Oh, really? What about what this lady you said? You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Oh, yeah? We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. Oh, dear. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Hmm. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? I'll talk about baseball with you. You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, he deserves to be back. We can't, there's no... I guess there's a possible religious motive, but that, that was basically what we just asked. Yeah, we, let's go bad cop. You left-wing leaning parasite you left you expect me to sit here and listen to your oh uh, you're a lefty you is that? this really what felt just sit said there and you call me those names you goddamn goy butt snatcher you and that stump gauge 
Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every these, proposal like, I ever put forward. Are these 40s swear words? this and kike that. He's been trying That's to ruin my one. business for years. What the hell are moms are, though? Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. Oh, so professional. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. That snide smirk he's got. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. Get yourself two suits and wear a tie. Make sure you're wearing a goddamn tie, Phelps. See, the game would actually be very different if I wasn't wearing this tie right now, then it would, it would just say game over, I think. That's how it works. A promotion? A, 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 a promotion? Peak physical conditioning. Hell yeah. Yeah, I can run a mile in like nine minutes. I'm a pretty big deal. I only have to take two walking breaks. <laughs>